bizarrely, it's a uh, snowy rain outside, even though it's April. And I am not happy about that because I am ready for sunshine and flowers. However, Mother Nature wins every time. So instead of sulking, I am going to head to a couple of thrift stores on the way to my friend Penny's house. Let's go. It's good to be back at the barn sale in Hamden. I love this store. Checking out this very interesting vase. It says Carved Jasper Foo Dog Family, $250, no reduction. Very different piece. Here's the purse section. This little green purse is really cute. What's the price? $5, you can't beat that. I always like to look in the glass cases here. They always have lots of interesting things. Ooh, that little statue head was here last time. Lots of nice bracelets. They always have good jewelry and they label their jewelry really well, which is so helpful. Like the earrings, I see a lot of good things in here today. Cups and saucers and teapots. I can see this section has had a lot of turnover since the last time I was here. I think they get a pretty steady customer flow in this place. No wonder they have great stuff and their prices are fair. That reminds me of Iris. That's a different kind of teapot. It's like covered in blueberries. Blue sky blueberry teapot, $45. It's a really different piece. I love this little tea set. It's really pretty. I'm gonna have to think about this. That dragon just heard a very funny joke, I think. $12 vintage dragon box, interesting piece. A little bit more luster wear there. This chair has such a nice shape to it. It's a bit like a Lincoln rocker. $95, no reduction. That might be a little bit much to ask because it probably will need to get reupholstered. This is a really nice applique folk art piece. I've never seen anything quite like it. This is $65, which seems very fair. And actually, I bet it's 50% off that because it's been here since December, according to that tag. Over here, there's some sewing stuff and knitting things. We have a very interesting looking plane that must have come from a kit. Here's a needlepoint piece. I can't really read that. Teach something. This is a pretty little cross stitch. I like that. Oh, and the cute little puppies. Some interesting tablecloths and hats. This is kind of a back room to the store. Here's a collection of bags. Not that long ago, I found a really nice straw one here. I can't wait to use it for the summer. Here we have some tablecloths and runners. This one is interesting, but unfortunately it has a stain on it. So I'm not sure who's gonna buy it with a stain, but they can always try. This is a great piece. $350 for this oak display cabinet. And I bet it's half off of that because it's been here for a while. It's a really nice big piece. Keep all of your collectibles safe in there. Mm -hmm. 
just checking out the rest of the store. There's some little child's things, some toys and things. Their Easter stuff is half off. This bunny is very cute. If I didn't have bunnies already, I would probably pick that up because it would only be $2.50. All Easter items are 50% off. This guy is a little bit strange looking. Anna Lee, 1981. I don't remember that from 1981. Do you remember Anna Lee? This little planter is super sweet. Oh, very cute. My cats would eat the plant right out of it and knock that thing to pieces on the floor. Vintage 1950s Rubens Original, very cute. Oh, and that one's cute too. Very sweet, $15 for this little guy. This store always has a lot of really nice glassware. This is a nice display. I love the pink. I wish there were two candlesticks. If there were two, I would probably have bought them. This lighting fixture is nice. I think it was here the last time I was here. So I guess nobody's bought it. $95, but I think it would be half off now because it's been there since January. That would be a great price and that would be a very pretty piece in somebody's home. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is too funny. Royal Wedding Biscuits. Who doesn't need some Royal Wedding Biscuits from 1981 for only $4? I like the blue glassware, it's very pretty. It's nice in the window, the way they have it, so the sun kind of comes through. Not that we're having any sun today. In theory, the sun would come through. We have some lamps on the floor and some oil lamps and all kinds of older lamps here on the shelves. This big hobnail glass lamp has been here for the longest time. I don't know why somebody doesn't snatch it up. I would if I had a place for it. Here's a little collection of milk glass. It's a nice old lamp. Here we have some various china pieces. What a nice platter. Really pretty. I love the colors. An old terrain. This is nice. I never seem to see these kinds of pieces with the cups and the plates together. I always just find the plates on their own. What a sweet set made in Japan. I love the yellow flowers on that. And here we have a box of dinnerware for only $30. Nice classic white pattern and some silverware and some other various covered dishes and things. Pretty lamp. This is a great green set, very 60s, 70s. Anchor Hawking, $90 for the set. And this is also a really pretty china set. With nine dinner plates, that is not bad at all. I have this covered chicken, mine is brown, <laughs> $18 for this. I've never seen a chicken that color in the natural world. It's a pretty little tidbits or candy tray. It looks hand painted, made in Italy. I see some interesting Pyrex bowls. And there's all of the silverware. I'm trying to give you a nice broad shot of the store so you can really get a sense of it. This is interesting, White Mountain Freezer. This is for making ice cream. I think I'll just buy my ice cream, but thanks anyway. I don't know if this is the same kind of thing. This is some kind of, oh, this is a bread maker. That looks hard. They always have nice baskets here. 
This is very pretty. It's Delft. I've never seen a Delft piece in this color combination before, but it's hand painted. Very pretty. This plate is absolutely lovely. Antique French fans plate. Very nice, no reduction. I'm having trouble putting it back where it goes. Let's not break the pretty expensive French plate. And here's another really nice one that goes with it, with the rose. These have been here since December and I sense that that's probably because they're asking a little too much for them. This is really pretty too. I, this one might be even my favorite. $50, no reduction. They would look so pretty all grouped together. Yeah, really nice, but more money than I would pay for them personally. This is a nifty little bowl. Nippon porcelain dish for $12. I like the shape of it. They have some great pressed glass. I like this compote a lot. That's a nice etched vase. I, I think they have some of the nicest clear glass collections that I've seen around. This is interesting. Check this piece out. Hair receiver. Antique glass dresser drawer. That's a really unique piece. I've seen these hair receivers before, but um, I've never had one in my own possession. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a closer look. Check out all that detail on the lid. Yeah, I think this might be coming home with me. I like the mirror jewelry box. That's a really pretty piece. No reduction, $45. Not a ton of storage space in there. It looks like it maybe is missing an upper tray. This is lovely. Let's check out this gravy boat. What a cheerful scene on this little gravy boat. That's so pretty and I love the colors. Six dollars, you can't beat that. Oh, these little cat bookends remind me of Iris. They're $14, very cute. It looks like Iris after she's done something naughty. And then there's just some books here. That was a successful shopping trip. I almost bought a Lester Ware little tea set with the sugar and creamer, but at the last minute it had a little chip. So I'm glad I didn't find that out when I got home, but what a bummer. Um, so I left that behind, but I got a couple of other really cute things. And now I have to really hustle over to Penny's house because I'm running late. I thought I would take this opportunity to show you my old house. Here it is, this little red farmhouse from the late 1700s, early 1800s. Isn't it so cute? It was such a great house. I love where I live now, but I also really love that house a lot. Okay, we're at Goodwill. Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start with bags. Not seeing anything super special here, but I always like to check. Here we are in the China section, or the China section as I like to call it, dishes as Goodwill likes to call it. Always my favorite section. There's an interesting little glass bowl here, but there's some issues with the color. It looks like it's, uh, yeah, it's lost a lot of its color for some reason. There's some stacks of plates not seeing much that's old but you never know and something might jump out that's a pretty pink bowl that's elegant depression glass i love these but they're hard for me to sell and here we have some pretty wine glasses i like that red one You never know what you're gonna find in this section. Some little Christmas glasses there. These are plastic, that really surprised me actually. I 
And I'm just checking the end caps. These little etched wine glasses are really lovely. There's only two of them, but I like them a lot. This is a little coaster set, but it's missing some of the poles off the front. Okay, I just stopped at TJ Maxx, picked up some spring tops, and of course, most importantly, some dog toys. And now I'm at another Goodwill. You can see it. And I figured I'll just pop in before I head home for the day. So let's see if they have anything. This looks like a cute little picnic basket set. Very nice but probably more trouble than it's worth to pack all your food just to eat on the ground with a lot of bugs, if you ask me. Lots of lamps in here as usual. Very jumbly looking today, but in fairness, it's towards the end of the day. It's like late afternoon, and it usually looks like that around this time. Look at all of these appliances. It's like a mass of wires all over the place. And here we are in the home goods section. Yeah, definitely has a bit of a picked over look, but I think it might still be possible to find something good. These were here the last time I came. I guess they haven't sold. Those mixing bowls are kind of cute. Check out the string art. That took somebody a long time to do. Kind of a cool effect. That is $14.99. All right, but onward to the kitchenware. And let's see what we have here. It's kind of a pretty plate. It's a nice design. 99 cents for that plate. These corn on the cob dishes are nice. I already have a set in my store that I actually paid more for. That's a cute little pumpkin bowl. Would be cute to put your candy in there for trick or treat. Let's see, what else do we have here? That's a cute little lustrous piece, but just a little orphan piece. There are no others that go with it. This bowl is pretty. It reminds me of a Mikasa one I recently picked up, but the Mikasa one is much nicer in terms of make and color. This is an interesting plate, but it has a lot of damage to the pattern. Can you see that? So not worth it. These candlesticks are nice. I wonder what the price is on these. They're nice and heavy. $2.99, but that's each. So $6 for the pair, still not terrible. This is an interesting figure. It is so heavy. I just wonder who's making that. I don't see any special marking. This is cute too. What is this, it's like a candle? Oh no, it's not a candlestick, it's a vase. It's just upside down, but you know what? I think it was more stable that way. A teller 99, cute little piece. I'll put it down carefully so it doesn't break. That bowl is pretty, but there's some condition issues with it, unfortunately. Here we are in the mug section. Lots of mugs in this section today. This almost looked like a toll tray, but no, it's plastic. This frame section is really rough looking today, as, along with the plastics. That's a cute little picture. I like these little Pyrex mugs. They're very cute and not a bad price, $2.99 for three, but they don't resell well at all. So I'm not going to pick these up. I do like them though. These are really interesting. 
I had picked these out of the bin and just put them here. They're Sango. I put them here so I could just kind of think about them and do some research. And here's a nice coupon off my purchase. Well, just as I thought that Goodwill was totally picked over and I wasn't gonna find anything, they rolled out the bins and I hit the jackpot. All right, I'm exaggerating. I didn't hit the jackpot, but I found some really good things to resell. I'll show you them when I get home. It was not my intention yesterday to do a full thrifting trip. I, I didn't dedicate the day for that. I was just gonna go see my friend but I popped in and out of places before and after, and in the process, I amassed quite a lot. I started out at the barn sale in Hamden because they have limited hours. So when I find myself in that general area on the days that they're open, it's hard not to stop in and just take a quick peek at what they have. Um, and I did pretty well there. Um, there is always new merchandise there. So if the merchandise is new, there's not a lot of markdowns. I did find a few things though that did qualify for the discount. So um, I'll show you what I picked up starting with this really pretty Dresden plate that was only $5, so I had to have it. Oh, the cat is playing with my camera stand. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, hopefully she'll stop. Good luck with that. So anyway, this is the plate. I thought it was really pretty. I, I have no idea what the resale value is on this, and I might just end up keeping it. If I'm honest, here is the back so you can see it. And I thought it was just a lovely, really classic pattern. I also picked up, this was on discount. So this was originally $10 and I got it for five. This fantastic plate. Here is the back. So the tag is kind of blocking the design. So let me see if I can get that off so you can see the full thing. Cause it's just a really pretty plate and it's very large. So there's the whole thing. And I was really glad to find it. Okay, this is funny. But when I saw this, I just had to have it. So this was $4. <laughs> it's like a little tin from the royal wedding when Princess Diana and Prince Charles got married. Of course, she was Lady Diana Spencer then. And I just thought it was really funny. And I collect coronation stuff. Now this of course isn't coronation, this is wedding related, but yeah, this just had to come home with me. I found this awesome antique glass dresser jar hair receiver. This was not on sale, so this was $12. And no, actually wait, I'm sorry, I take that back. It was $12, it was half off. So I paid $6 for it. It's this great cut glass vessel and it has the top with the hole. So women would put their, their hair that had, you know, had shed, whatever, and they would, they would collect it in here. Now, why did they do that? I don't know why they did that. I'll have to research it. It's really creepy and gross, which is why I had to have it because it was kind of weird and different. And the top is beautiful. It has like dragons on it. These don't resell very well and I didn't buy this one to resell. I bought this one to keep. They honestly only go for like six to $10 on eBay. So um, nothing super special, but I've never had one. I thought it was interesting and it will stay with me. I picked up some interesting jewelry at the barn sale, including this white Scotty dog that I thought was so sweet. And this little Scotty dog was three dollars and he's a pin i picked up these pretty delft earrings they're actually clip-ons they were twelve dollars and it said not reduced like so it's not supposed to be on sale at any point but since it had been there since october they gave them to me for six dollars and they have the pretty little windmills on them so i loved those you know i'm a sucker for delft and I bought this very pretty floral 
brooch. It's teeny tiny. And this was only a dollar. And finally, oh, nope, not finally. I bought these lovely 1940s clip-on earrings from Hong Kong. I got them for $2.50. They're just clip-on, as I said. And I just thought they had great shape and color. Really interesting. And my favorite thing that I got were these lovely Murano bead earrings. And these, they would not reduce the price on. So I paid $18 for these, which was maybe a lot. But I love the color and the design on them. I'm keeping these for myself. And they're on French hooks, so I can easily wear them. I'm going to keep the Delft ones as well. Where are the Delft ones? Even though I don't know that I can wear clip-on earrings, I don't know if that will like really hurt my ears, but I'm going to give them a shot. Um, there's someone I want to give these to. I'll probably just keep this little brooch, and I may or may not keep the Scotty dog, but it is so cute. The last thing I have to show you from the barn sale is this pretty gravy boat. Let me take this price off so you can see the pattern. It was $6 and it's Johnson Brothers Apple Orchard. Actually, I think it's called the Friendly Apple Orchard. And it does look friendly. Here's the bottom. And I just thought it was adorable, so. I love gravy boats. I don't really use them that often, but I think they make very lovely decorative pieces. So that was it for the barn sale. I love that store. I really love that store. I could just, you know, just keep on making rounds in that store all day long. So after the barn sale, I went to my friend's house for lunch. I had a really nice time. And then afterwards I ran to the grocery store and then I just popped off at the Goodwill. I don't know if it's technically in Woodbridge or in New Haven, probably it's technically in, in New Haven, but it's right on the Woodbridge line. It's a very small Goodwill, um, but I figured I was in the neighborhood and I'd check it out. So I picked up these crazy daisy Corel plates for $2.99. There's one, two, three, four of them. I love the green Crazy Daisy um, design in these. I think they're really great. The plates are in good shape. Corel wear is so awesome. I grew up with Corel and you can microwave it and you can put it in the dishwasher and you can use it every day and you can beat the heck out of this thing and it keeps coming back for more abuse. Um, and like I said, the Crazy Daisy pattern is one of the ones I really like in particular. So pick those up. And then I got, you know I like ashtrays, although I'm not a smoker. Oh, cat, Ooh. cat. Oh, they've been so bad lately, oh my God. Okay, I picked up this huge amber ashtray. I thought this was really cool. Again, I don't smoke, but I just love old ashtrays. I think, you know, growing up in the 70s, like, let me tell ya, like just about everybody I knew smoked. My, my mother didn't, my grandparents didn't, but like the neighbors did, my parents' friends did, my dad did. I mean, people smoked. Um, and it's good that they don't smoke so much now because we know it's so very bad for you. Um, but I do still like the ashtrays. So I bought this one, loved the color, loved the shape. I love how big it is. It brings me right back to my childhood. So um, yeah, I had to have this. At the same Goodwill, I bought these fantastic tumblers. One of them still has its label. Here it is. So, Crystal d'Arc from France. And so these are great tumblers. They have a wonderful shape and a great heaviness to them. I actually have a lot of mismatched tumblers in my kitchen cabinet right now, and I might just replace them with these because I don't like it when I have a lot of mitts, mismatched glasses. I like um, a collected look, and I like different patterns and colors when they all go, and it's intentional, but when you just have a lot of orphan glasses because you've broken them, 
that's not as good a look. And by the way, if you need barware right now, I have lots of barware, at least at the time of this recording, um, on my eBay store from the last estate cleanout we did. Some really great pieces. So if you're in the market, do check that out. Oh, I don't think I mentioned the price on these, $1.99 each. Very pretty. Then I picked up these tumblers for 99 cents each. These are great. I love these. There were only four of the tumblers. There were some smaller glasses as well. I did not get those because I have so much glassware on my store right now as a result of the clean out. Um, I just couldn't bring myself to amass more smaller glasses because I have a lot of rocks glasses right now. But I thought these were really pretty, really classic. They would look gorgeous in any table setting. And then I bought these blue and clear champagne flutes. These were 99 cents each. And I bought four of them. I love the color of these. I think they're really pretty, very elegant, and they would be a nice pop of color in anybody's tablescape. I bought this really beautiful cut glass pitcher. It is so very heavy. It was $3.99. It still has like a little barcode on it. It's fantastic, and it matches the tumblers. You see, it's the same pattern. And I try to steer, st uh, stay away from these clear glass pieces because they really don't sell well for me. Although I love, I really do love clear glass. I think it is so elegant, but this piece was just too good to leave behind. And similarly, I found this compote that I absolutely love. Wilson is chatting upstairs. It's again, a very, very heavy piece. It has these great details all along the edges and I did not see any cracks or chips and boy, did I check. Here is the bottom of it. Oof, that is heavy. And this was $3.99. And So I was on my way home and I had to pass Hamden and I thought, let me check out the Hamden Goodwill, which, you know, I, I tend to have good luck there. Um, I'm sort of feeling worried that they're moving. They're just moving down the street. It's not a big deal, but that Goodwill has been around for at least 20 years. So I hope that like they don't move and become like fancier and then their prices go up and they become like so many of the other Goodwills you know, where they just inflate the prices and then there's no resale opportunities. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but anyway, for now, it's still open. I think it's only open for a few more weeks. Oh, that freaks me out. But anyway, I did get a few good things there. I picked up this punched metal lampshade, the willow tree design, in this kind of burnt red color. I thought this was a really nice piece. So I plan to resell this. I picked up more Crazy Daisy Corel with the hooked handles. Oh, I should mention, uh, this did not have a price on it. So I took it up to the cashier and she said $2.99. And I said, sure. So that's how that went. Then I picked up these. These were $2.99. There's not much resale value on these at all, but I don't know. I thought they were kind of cute. So I love the hooked handle on them, especially. Then I found, oops, not one, but two little Starbucks mugs. And these resell, I think the ones with the trees. Actually, I might even put both of them away for Christmas time. Well, I don't know, the green isn't really so much Christmas. I'll have to think about it. This one I'll definitely put away for Christmas. There's the Starbucks logo on it. 99 cents for this one, $1.99 for this one. I know that they're not, obviously they're not old, but they are collectible. And listen, I have a good respect for anything that people enjoy collecting. 
Um, it doesn't have to be old as long as it's well made and um, something I feel good about being in the market for, with, whatever, then it's fair game as far as I'm concerned. So at the point in the store when I only had the Starbucks mugs, so I hadn't picked up the lampshade or the Crazy Daisy mugs yet, I was getting a little like Debbie Downer. I was like, oh, I can't believe they're moving. And I'm here, it's like 3.30, 4 o'clock. It's really picked over. I should just go home. I mean, I was like getting a little Debbie Downer about things, which like, why? That's so silly. Just, if you feel that way, just time to go home. And I was moving in that direction when suddenly the big bins rolled out. Oh, it's the best. When the big bins roll out and you're like, what is inside the big bins? And because I was there at a not very popular time, <clears throat> there wasn't like the crowd of people hovering over the bins like you can sometimes get. I had them to myself. So I looked inside and I found, I'm gonna have to use my big muscles here, these plates. Now I know at first glance, they don't look all that exciting, $14.99. They looked at the bank, the back, and it said Sango. And I know that's a good label. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these dinner plates. And one of the things I've really learned as a reseller is that dinner plates sell so much better than any other size. So I looked them up on eBay and I saw that they had really good resale values. I thought, this is great. Okay, $14.99 is not the cheapest price, but I can probably resell these and, you know, still make a good profit. So it would be worth it, even though they're heavy and, and would be kind of hard to ship. I think I could make this work. So I was feeling pretty good about it. Then I saw that there were bowls. One, two, three, four, five bowls. And the price said $14.99. Now this is the same, oop, same set. So I thought, okay, let me look these up. And I looked them up and I'm like, okay, not a ton of profit on the bowls, but enough to make it worth my while to pick these up for $14.99. So then I found the salad plates for $14.99. And there's one, two, three, four, five of these. Again, same, oops, same maker. And for $14.99, I thought, you yeah, know, maybe not the plates. I'm not sure that that's gonna give me a profit that's worthwhile. I have such trouble breaking up sets, um, but I was thinking probably no on these. And then I found the mugs. Now this was so confusing to me because this group of three mugs said $14.99 on them. And then this group of two mugs said $14.99 on them. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna buy, first of all, why would you have two mugs and then three mugs and they're all $14.99? The mugs aren't worth enough for me by any means to pay $14.99 for them. So I thought, okay, let's make some decisions. And again, you know, you probably shouldn't thrift when you're tired and cranky. So I said, I'm gonna get the dinner plates. I'm gonna get the bowls. I also had a 25% off coupon to use. So I went up to the cash register and again, I don't know what it is with that Goodwill. I always have really nice cashiers at that Goodwill, like nice and very helpful. So I started to cash out. So the cashier said to me, oh, it's $14.99 for the set. And I mean, you mean for the plates? And she said, no, for the set. And she said, if you look carefully, you know, I'm gonna have to move this camera. If you look carefully, you can see what the label says. I'm gonna show you. So the label says $14.99, one of five. So the $14.99 is for all of the pieces. So for the dinner plates, the bowls, the mugs, one set, two set, and the bread and butter plates, I mean the uh, salad plates. So all of this was a total of $14.99. And then I had 25% off. So when we added in the shade, the Crazy Daisy mugs, and the two Starbucks mugs, this whole pile of stuff was just $18.
And I, I'm gonna tell you, I am gonna make a lot more than $18 off of the profit of this stuff. So what a success. So here is a look at my full haul. Fantastic dishes, the Starbucks mug, the punctured lampshade, all of this great glassware. Crazy Daisy. Wonderful vintage jewelry, the ashtray, the glasses, gravy boat. <laughs> this cracks me up. I don't know why this cracks me up, but it does. And this kind of gross hair catcher. Let's not think about what has gone in there in the past because it's a little bit disturbing. But anyway, yeah, nice haul, right? Very happy with it. So that was my shopping haul. Pretty successful, all things considered. And I, I, as I said, I had no intention of picking up so many things and going to so many stores. It just kind of happened that way. Um, and I think the biggest reveal to me, uh, you know, lessons learned, I guess, was from that Goodwill in Hamden where I got sort of cranky and down. And you know what? Your mindset matters. You need to stay positive and open and really let the items in the store unveil themselves to you. You know, you have no control over what goes out on the shelf when. You just have to look and the bins come out politely, respectfully, check through those. Um, you know, check your prices through eBay and, and see what you can find. And I now know I better be really careful when I read the price label and make sure that if it's a set, you know, it would say like one of five or one of three or whatever to make sure that I'm accurate in my calculations because if that um, cashier hadn't spoken aloud in the way that she did, I would have missed out on all of this stuff for only $14.99, then with the discount on top. So I won't make that mistake again, I don't think. At least I certainly try not to make that mistake again. I decided to put the little plate right here with the rest of my blue and white. I think it looks really pretty. For right now, I'm gonna pop this cute little tin right into the barrister bookcase. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. I can't do it with one hand. There they are, <laughs> safe from the cats and I can enjoy them from in here. Nobody likes a close up that's too close, but <laughs> I want to show you these great earrings. Aren't they wonderful? And they're great because when I kind of move my head around, they bounce and bob. These kinds of things used to be called ear bobs back in the day, <clears throat> but I think they're really fun. I like them a lot. Looking for a little bit of iris time? Here she is. Okay, one more to show you. I put these little clip-on earrings. I really need a magnifying mirror to do this correctly, but here they are. And actually, they're not uncomfortable to wear, so I might actually give these a shot out and about. I love the little classic pattern on them. Very pretty. I have a little bit of news to share. I've been wanting so much to get to a thousand subscribers. And you know, I know there's channels that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So a thousand is probably sounding like a modest number to many people. But to me, it was really um, a little bit of a reinforcement that I was doing things right and that my channel was growing. And the other day, we, my husband and I were looking and we're like, 995. 996 subscribers, 997, we kept watching. Oh my gosh, and we got to 999, and we just kind of stayed there. <laughs> we stayed there for the rest of the night. The next morning, I got up and it was 1,005, and I was just so excited. Um, so I just wanna thank you for subscribing. If you did, I wanna thank you for watching, whether you decide to subscribe or not. I love making these videos, it's so much fun. I enjoy reading your comments more than I can even express to you. I learned so much from you. Um, it's unbelievable. And I try to share some of the really good tips I learned so that we can all um, build our knowledge base as a community. But thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping this little channel grow. I hope it continues to do so. And it isn't possible without your support.
So I greatly appreciate it. And I just wanted to make sure that I said that to you today. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this unexpected thrifted haul. Um, I really appreciate you coming along with me as I pick up these things and then show them to you when I get home. My next step as always is to wash everything. That is my least favorite step, if we're being honest. I'll wash everything, then I'll bring it upstairs into the laundry room where I can take pictures of everything. I have my setup for photography up there, and then it comes into the study while I list all of the pieces. So that will be happening very soon. And in the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time.